Welcome back to an RPG Maker Unite tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to animate something on the map. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so in prior versions of RPG Maker, what you would do is you'd set up a sheet like this where you'd have a door on the down looking section. You'd have a left facing door barely opening, door more opening on the right facing section, and then the door would be completely open on the up facing section. Now you only needed one of these really if you locked the directions, but they would put them on all three frames just in case there was any walking or stepping going on. But what this does is it allows you to go from an animation of not closed and then to open, and then you would change event pages. So it's kind of the same thing in RPG Maker Unite, just the steps are kind of a little different. The first thing that you would have to do is you'd have to go into your image that you wanted, let's say you had a door animation like this, it could be in a strip, it could be like this, whatever. You'd go in there and you'd cut out each frame individual. So each frame would be an individual frame, all right? And then the next thing you do is you go in Unite here, you go to Resource Manager Characters and then Objects. And from there what you would do is you would add them as their own facing directions. So you can see in the downward facing directions, they imported this one. And you just click this Import right here to import this. So that's facing down, here's facing left, and then you can preview them on here. So there's your facing left, there's your facing right, and then there's your, your up or your open in this case. And so yeah, you would set it up right there. If you need a new one, you can always right click on the objects here and click on new, and then that's how you would set up a new one, All right? And then the last thing that you would really do is go to an event. So here's our event on a map that's gonna be the door. We would assign it the image, let's just see if, the gate two right here. Let's just open that. So now that's going to be the gate. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to add some events. So if you right click, you can add a new event. We can go to characters right here. We can select direction. And then we can say that we want this event to turn left. All right, that's the first thing that's gonna do. Then we're going to provide a timing, a weight here basically. And typically like a seven or, or even faster sometimes, like a five, let's try a five. And then we can just copy this and uh, paste them. And I believe we can copy both of them and paste them. Nope, just one at a time. Okay, so copy, paste, and we'll need one more, copy, paste. Because this one is going to be our right, and then this one is going to be our up, all right? And then that should be it. The only thing that we would want to do is then we would want to make a new page. So we're going to say new event page. We're going to give this the icon or the image here. Then the direction is going to be looking up and it's going to be fixed. We also want it to have a self switch on of A. And then in this first page here, we'll just add a new one. Should be in game progression here. And we're gonna turn A on. And that should be all that we need to do if we play test this. We'll be able to go and test the store out. So it's gonna go, we're gonna open it. It opens up and then it will remain in that state because it's on a new page. So if you left the room and came back, this door would still be open. If you didn't want to open, you would just not put that page, this page that we added right here. We wouldn't put this page, we would just delete it. And then that one would just only run, run every time that you enter the room. So yeah, hopefully this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, comments below, Steam Forms Discord, we'll get you figured out. With that said, I'll see you at the next video.